<laughs> so Lara goes claiming he would have wrecked a Fotix if if he'd played him in a good connection. I'm pretty sure I'm the same as well. I would mean, definitely, I'd definitely wreck him. <laughs> so this match, however, both of them within Europe. Zero Wolf, I think, is in the UK. Um, hopefully, I'm not wrong. Could well be though. It's a lot of countries to remember. A dirty cross-up punch there from Larigor. Very nice. Very nice stuff. Let's see what? Z but we've seen Zero. We've seen Zero Wolf Sargagog a few times tonight. Let's see what he's got. He's got a lot of tricks. Could have got. Oh, too late with a forward punch then. Got the right idea. Yeah, I played. A, I played this matchup with Larigor. Got a YouTube video of me playing him with uh, Valerie versus Zargagarg, and it's a pretty, pretty funny match actually. Um, although it's not not represent. It gets that pop up, Mike. Oh, but not the full damage this time. Bit too far away. Going in for that jump punch again, but really nice anti air from Zero Wolf. I think Larigor is playing a little bit hasty now, which of course against Arg you very tempting to do. It's very hard to be patient when he's throwing all these fish at you. And bubbly shielding all over the business. But when there's no poison on you, you don't need to worry as much. So yeah, it's kind of kind of playing very hasty, like he's been poisoned, but he hasn't actually been poisoned. So, you know, you still need to worry about that. Like that again. Well, I got made it safe though. Very good, very good distancing from Larigor. I thought that justice kicks would be punished for sure. But Kleps clips the arms. You can see Larigor loves the grey. That was a very important assist in the air that he did. Because... Gets it! The full full damage. So you see Larigor loves playing the grey because he loves to fish for that counter hit. And that max that four damage combo if he gets the, the toasty pop up. The toasty combo as we like to know. He's willing to take a lot of these risky things. But yeah, doing that ghost in the air even though it's possibly not optimal. I like it because he's trying to do a lot of jump-ins. And so if he uses that ghost to change his jump angle, yeah, so suddenly Argagog messes up his anti -airs. Had the chip finish available, but again, didn't take it. Needs to learn that. So you get them in the corner with a grey like that and one health point, you can use the ghost to tick them for one point of damage and then do your jump flying kicks for two more tick points of damage. That was a golden opportunity for it as he had Argog in the corner. So yeah, we see Larigor is still fighting hard. Really looking for that. Again, if that had been a counter hit, he'd have won that round. He loves fishing for it. And who wouldn't? Again, risky, risky moves. And eventually, Zero Wolf wears him down there. Just playing patiently, defending well. And um, eventually, I think that Zero Wolf's got a much more solid style here. I think it's going to carry him. But okay, that's another another thing that I like I like from Baragor there. He hadn't really gone up for gone for throws at all. But again, just like using if you're going to jump at someone, mixing up your jumpings makes them. Hesitant, a little bit more difficult to answer here, a little bit more hesitant. Oh, should have done the Justice Punch, he would have won. Tyrant Crusher would have won it for him. And another opportunity to do the tick damage finish, but he gets the punch anyway. Is this, can Larry, Larigor show us some new tricks here? Has been known to learn. He's got the power of learning. So yeah, when he goes for the obvious uh, frame traps with uh, De Grey, it's not really working for him. But now he's mixing in throws as well. No, not one. No, one more. No, that's where he needs to. Okay. I'm going to have to take Larigo in the lab later and show him this tick damage setup. He's been in multiple golden opportunities with De Grey. They're just pl trading tick damage here, but De Grey's coming out on top with that one. Yeah, when he does, uh, so De Grey's got various moves where he ends up positive on block. So you block his punch, especially the uh, dagger fall thrust. So Justice Kicks is minus, but not minus enough. I'm loving his uh, Serlin, Serlin type tactics of using the same move over. Should have jumped, jumped, done a punch there. 
Not this time. You got the spacing wrong. Don't do the... No, don't do truth. Okay, he got it right because he got the spacing. So there we saw a kind of round that Larigal wants. He's trying to space out every single option from his counterpoint step to be frustratingly safe. And that's the one. When he does... That was a very obvious frame trap from De Grey again. But this time it's mainly due to the range. And again, he's trying to... Yep, again, spaced it to be safe. Mix up, normal throw. Making it safe. It's very hard for... It seems like it's very hard for... And this time again, he's really getting so risky with those Tyrant Crushers. Really needs to calm down with them. Mm. Did you see that? He did use the uh, DeGray's ground pound to duck underneath Yagagog's fireball and hit him. I did not know that was possible. We do know justice is possible, though. And mixing in the throws. Yeah, his long-range um, back A ground pounds are very, very tasty. Very tasty indeed. He catches me with them as well. Even though I know the frame data are under grey and I know I shouldn't push buttons. But sometimes you think, yeah, maybe. There it is! So, 1-1. One, one. Okay. Both these players. This is, I think, the best character for both these guys. So, good to see. Uh, a good, uh, good matchup here. Perhaps they're not the world experts with Argo de Grey, but still showing you really good how, how this matchup can work. Uh, like a kind of, you know, medium skill level, let's say. Okay, got the punish this time. Not quite sure the distancing on the... Larigos spacing, though. Very nice. And this time, didn't use the ghost. Hoping Argog wouldn't be ready and would think that he was doing a jump ghost and went for the jump punch, but Argog was ready. Yeah, again, this is so nice. So he's, when he uses that justice kicks, he's minus on block. But he's spacing it so that Argar cannot punish him easily. Probably needs to use a couple more ground ghosts. Now Zero Wolf's time to uh, change his tactics and play above himself. Back and forth match this. I don't know who's gonna get it. I feel like I feel like Zero's got 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 his number just slightly right now. But we've seen De Grey can just do explosive damage out of nowhere. Nah, I think he's I think he's frustrated. Maybe losing patience. But he's remember he's got some more moves. My goodness, the comeback! Needed the justice kicks, didn't do it. Went for the daggerfall punch, probably, and Argog just got out his fish in time. Going to take a Herculean effort from Larigor here, but it's totally doable. Fantastic walk forward block, actually. I know Larigor gets very, uh, <laughs> very frustrated by Argog at times when I played him before. Especially the goldfish is very hard to, very confusing. Ah, and this time Zero closes it out with a perfect. So, interesting how those both those players kind of develop their tricks and tactics as they move through those rounds. One early on, it was all Zero Wolf, then it was all Larigor, then it was Larigor, and then and then yeah, and then yeah, wow, great match to watch.